But first, let's take you around the Her World Conference, and we're going to meet some of the people that are putting on. We're going to meet Jack Yo, one of the uh, world's first female fighter pilots who has some very inspirational words to say to the young ladies here today. Let's walk around the young women in science and technology. Everything that's brought up to, to space has been irradiated, so we're killing any kind of microorganisms. It would be a disaster if we had sick astronauts, right? We're not looking for sick astronauts, and we certainly don't want to bring a lot of garbage into space. I went to this Challenger activity, and it's about astronauts and what they do on them in space. It's, they just wanted us like to show us what it felt like to be in all that equipment and how you can't really move that well. All the like stuff you have to hook on to the suit and how complicated it can be and all the wires. It felt like Darth Vader. <laughs> So these are my grandfather's old Southern irons. He used to work on the railroad back in the day. The mission of our YWIST event are number one, to ignite interest in science and technology careers in young women. Uh, number two is to expand their vision. Uh, a lot of them come with boxes where they don't see themselves in, in a math or a science or a technology career. To bust down those boxes so that they have an opportunity to see and potentially see themselves in a different role. And thirdly, our mission as always, it's DeVry University, is to educate, to teach them, to help them to understand their potential as young women in a technology career. I want to do criminal stuff, so like when my field is more criminal and I have to like learn forensic science and law and all this, uh, it's also good to know what's also out there. So if you ever meet someone that's like in the science area, you know that they're doing more like, they're behind a lot of the technical stuff, technology these days, behind a lot of scientists. There's more to it than just like the name. YWIST is for young women in science and technology. And we're here because we're a technology driven school. That's where we started in 1931, came forward, we're mostly technology moving forward to teach that on a hands-on basis. So not only do they get lecture in class, but we actually sit down and build components and write software. Women are socialized towards different careers and men are socialized towards different careers. And part of the reason why we do our Her World or our, our Her World or our Young Women in Science and Technology program is to break down the social barriers that are there for women as they consider those type of careers. Never listen to the people who tell you you can't get to where it is you want to go in life. They may be supportive, but they may not understand just how, how to do it, how to get from where you are to where you really want to be. And ultimately, nobody's going to be, believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. So don't listen to the negativity. Find a way. If you dream it, you can do it, and you can make it happen. Something to keep in mind, and we talked about this, is in technology careers, we are, uh, women are typically underrepresented, meaning there's too few of them. And companies are eager to hi hire qualified women who can come to and to deliver on services like that across the whole band. There are a lot of cool things going on here at the Her World Seminar. You just uh, heard from Tracy, one of the very first fighter pilots in the world, that female fighter pilots. She was great and inside they're doing a lot of cool things like, matter of fact, they're soldering. That's like things like guys do. Like you don't normally see the girls soldering, but they're learning how to do it right here to fix things and to move their way on in science and technology. So I'm gonna head in here in just a second and see what they're burning up. But first, don't forget, we wanna make sure that you are telling us what's going on in your community at your school. We wanna come and put you on TV. All you gotta do is go to our website, you see right here, and you send us your stories and we'll come out and see what's going on. When we come back on Keeping It Real TV, two high schools are doing their best to help out those in need in Africa. Right now I'm going inside to, to burn up something. We'll be back. <laughs>